painful to go so many days without games, but at the same time, you're quite satisfying and rewarding, I think, getting the result that you got last night. Yeah, no, I think so. I think we played uh, probably one of the most complete games we have all year, and, um, you know, we kind of had a bad taste in our mouth after the game in Toronto, so um, we want to commit to each other to play our best and um, play as hard as we can, and, and hopefully, uh, you know, things start rolling for us here. Was last night's game a pretty good example of what you did in practice the week before, the 10 days before here, and just a culmination of all of that? <laughs> you could say the whole month of practices, yeah. yeah. So uh, I've been plenty of practice time. Um, it's nice to get back in game uh, game action here, and you know, hopefully it's you know, every other game, kind of emulate a playoff little schedule or, or kind of emulate a little playoff run. So um, now we're, we're going to try to take everything that you know, happened last night, learn from it, and, and uh, you know, there's a lot of good things that we did last night. Pretty satisfying, I'm sure, as well, to see Matt get his first win. He's commented afterwards that he saw a pretty good sign of maturity from the hockey club. Would you agree? Yeah, well, you know, first couple of shifts, he made some unreal saves to keep us in it. So um, you know, he was ready right from the uh, right from the start, and, and that just gave us such a boost of you know energy. We all we always have confidence in him, and we always have. And um, you know, I think you know, like everybody's kind of thinking, you know, he's a two-time Stanley Cup champ for a reason. So um, we have all the confidence, all the belief in him, and and he kind of set the tone for us. And, and he was our leader there last night. Can I ask you on a personal note? Did you get a conference call with your brother and your mom about maybe a little love tap that you received uh, from? Yeah, yeah. No, I uh, <laughs> talked to him after. I'm like, what happened there? So he was just like a little cup check, just making sure. So no, it was good. It was fun. We kind of had a good laugh, but. Um, yeah, I haven't talked to my mom yet, so I uh, can't imagine what she was thinking there. Uh, Brady, what can you say about Nick Paul? See, Jack of all trades gets moved back to center and turns out with two goals in the first 15, 16 minutes of the yeah. game. Yeah, well, he's been great for us all year, and, and um, no, ever since I've been here, he's just been so versatile, and he's, uh, yeah, like you said, he can put him at center, left wing, right wing. He's going to be you know, the same player, and, and uh, um, nobody knows how much skill he has, and, and uh but he you know, makes all these great plays out there. He's got a great stick, and, and he's definitely a huge piece of our team. Uh, it took 42 days to play your last 10 games, but over that stretch, 6-3-1. and one. So what have you seen? I know it's been a, you know, a month and a half there, but what have you seen from this team you know, to start to turn things around? Yeah, no, I thought we had, a, like you said, a really good stretch there in December, and um, you know, we're playing well, playing our game, kind of play with a lot of energy, and uh, you know, everybody was just happy to be at the rink. And, and uh, of course, this last month, it's been tough. It's... You know, tons of practices and, um, and you know, not playing in front of fans. It's uh, you want those fans in Ottawa. It's um, it's kind of nice just to be there, a part of the community. But um, hopefully, when we get back to home games, we have fans in the stands and, and uh, kind of enjoy you know outside of their uh, struggles in everyday life that they can come rally together as a, team, uh, a community and uh, root for our team. Is there any memory of last year against the Oilers and what needs to be done tomorrow if there is to erase it? Yeah, I, I wouldn't say there's a lot of great moments against this team last year. It was a lot of um, frustration. So we just got to be ready tomorrow, and uh, we got to be able to kind of put all those you know, negative things that happened last year uh, behind us. And, and it's a new season, kind of new group. So um, and we're definitely going to be you know, ready to go. And um, But, yeah, like you said, it's a tough challenge over there, but um, we'll be ready to go.